to build a big spiritual nation. Si nous voulons bâtir une grande nation spirituelle, our first duty, notre première responsabilité, c'est de confronter qui nous sommes. Si nous sommes qui sont nos dirigeants Ce n'est pas tout le monde qui peut devenir une nation. You must have the resilience in you. Il faut avoir en toi la résilience. You must have the character. Il faut avoir le caractère. The virility. La virilité. You must marry correctly. Il faut faire un bon mariage. And you will be truthful. Il faut que tu sois fructueux. And you will not give birth to idiots. Il faut pas que tu the message of Bola Theodore during the 32nd night of the first in praise and prayer crusade was a development of the way Samuel birthed the nation of Israel. Reading from Ezekiel 19 verse 1 to 7, Bola Theodore commented that to build a nation and to build our spiritual nation, we need strong men, mighty men, not weaklings, full of fears and hesitations. He explained further that to build a spiritual nation, it takes people with their spirituality that can be transmitted to generations and generations after. And to build a mighty spiritual nation, beyond men with their spirituality, it takes men who will produce other men of a greater spirituality. To produce such nation builders, but I feel highlighted that we need statesmen, we need to have what it takes, for we cannot give what we don't have, and we cannot have what we have not acquired and there is no way to acquire something without furnishing the effort to acquire it. It takes men to build a nation, men of God to build a spiritual nation, and mighty men of God to build a mighty spiritual nation, but I feel the underscored. And that is the one thing that comes out of the life of Samuel, the leader noted. He said Samuel was buried by Eli, he buried himself before building a spiritual nation. Samuel provided a model and just like him, if we want to be the spiritual nation, we should do the same. But Theodore therefore brought out three domains in which Samuel provided a model for Israel, namely an exceptional work with God, existing ministry, and leadership blamelessness. Samuel developed a work with God through two factors, serving a man in his immediate presence and dwelling in the presence of God. These two factors transformed him spiritually. But Theodore noted that as Samuel was seeking God, God recruited him in his service, though he was very young. Hence the truth that God recruits those who seek him, not those who are appointed. Samuel also developed a distinct ministry. First, God was with him. He backed all Samuel's word. All Israel knew that Samuel was a prophet. And finally, the word of Samuel came to all Israel. The leader noted that Samuel answered a nationwide need. The word of God that was scarce was now usual in Israel. Therefore, what I feel said, ministry is not potentials, not feelings, but repeated things which to do and which are seen by others, and more importantly, which are backed by God. Lastly, Samuel had leadership blamelessness. He showed integrity and humility in all his relationships. For 90 years of leadership, he was blameless, and this was ascertained by the people, as can be seen in 1 Samuel 12. The saints therefore pray that God will raise men like Samuel from among us for the building of our great spiritual nation. Tu vois, le prophète ne commence pas par ainsi par le livre. Le prophète commence par des paroles qui vont le livre. Des paroles qui sont infusées de Dieu. Donc ce n'est pas un garçon léger. Léger, il n'est pas mal et pas beaucoup. Mais il grandissait avec Dieu. Et Dieu était avec lui. 
Et la présence de Dieu avait pu se manifester par le fait que tout ce qu'il disait portait, tout ce qu'il disait se réalisait. 